Hey everybody, uh, this is the standalone version of One Song, which is a new uh, synthesizer project I've been working on. That What this is, is it's a self-composing uh, generative music uh, module or standalone instrument. And uh, I'm showing you the standalone version first because it's less features and it's a little easier to uh, kind of understand uh, without complicating things as much. So as you can see, there's uh, five controls. Time is uh, basically like setting the speed or the tempo. Uh, length is the number of notes in a sequence, and volume is your output volume. Play plays a, the sequence, and new tells it to write a new sequence. And uh, then we just have a quarter inch output for the jack and nine volts in. Uh, it could probably run up to uh, probably like a, a 15 volt. Uh, actually, I whatever the uh, just whatever your op amp you're using in there is. Uh, check its data sheet and see what voltage you can run up to. But so I'm just press play, and did, okay. Hopefully you heard that. I'll turn the volume up a little more, make sure everybody heard that. And so. Let's play with the time, make that a little faster. And then the length. And then let's start to write a new song. So if you tell it to go really fast and have it kind of be a shorter length, you get almost like, it's almost just noise at that point. So, that's the very basics of it. Uh, I'm slowing it down now. Uh, it's just kind of creating random music, and it's a pretty simple thing to use. It's just kind of a fun little toy when you use it like this. Um, and I just wanted to... I left the back off of this just so I can show you what's on the inside. I'll show you just how simple the circuit is. I'm using a Korg Poly 800 as a table right now, which is kind of ironic uh, that I'm using a really great piece of digital set thing to do to show something really dumb and simple but uh, as you can see the board just has uh, a microcontroller an op amp a, a little resistor array a couple other resistors a clock a, a uh, voltage regulator and really that's about it then you just have these switches and some pots and it's a pretty inexpensive to build this way um, and this is a regular stomp box enclosure. Um, Alright, thanks. Uh, next is going to be showing you how this works when uh, uh, using its outputs in a, as a module.